Good evening ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another update video of Never Ending Nightmare. Now I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, about a month. I've taken some time off, um, basically to focus my efforts into fleshing out the game. Um, a lot has been added, there has been a total rework of the intro. Um, as you can see here, um, a lot of sound effects and music has gone into this. Uh, I still need to make quite a few characters, um, you know, basically just for this little intro, they're never going to be used again, but nevertheless, I still need to make them, put them in there. But yeah, um, a lot has a lot has been added. There's been a lot of side quests, um, some, some secrets, you know, uh, a lot of the plot has been added into these cutscenes too, so you can see here we start off with um, the original plot device which was this little boy Charlie and you know he goes missing after one day at school after that it's the main protagonist's job to find him uh, going through the game you know you're not just going to be looking for this one boy there's gonna be lots of lots of things to do um, I'm also at the moment trying to implement Steamworks so I can get achievements up and running. Um, you know, I've been making a few icons for the achievements and uh, fleshing out the descriptions for those. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you're not seeing that is um, that got worked on during that, that month off there. Um, but also, you know, I have a full time job, so you know, I've been pretty swamped and busy with that as well. But you know, thank you very much for all for being being patient. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into uh, what you know what I've done over the last month. So you can see here we've got the uh, so we have that we have that intro cutscene there. Um, a, a lot a lot of the stuff still needs to be tweaked and you know figured out. But you know for the most part it's it's pretty good. It's pretty it's, um it's I'm happy with it. I I definitely do need to tweak certain aspects, uh, a few timing issues. I have, um, I've also trying to rework the lighting, and um, there's a lot of scenes in this, uh, in this game here that the lighting just isn't up to my personal, uh, personal standard where I want it to be. Um, I am using the uh, Cars Ultra Lighting plugin, but I'm thinking of actually um, scrapping that idea and trying, trying to work on my own. Um, I, I, I'm just not happy with some of the shading and how it works. And it, it does take a bit of a performance issue. I mean, I've got quite a good setup here, but... You know, there is there is a few performance issues on my end. So I can't imagine for, for slower systems. So yeah, I definitely want to rework the lighting system. Um, yeah, as you can see here, that was the uh, secretary. Um, she's the one who tells the main character hey, you got a job, um, and we've got a phone there in the background, if you can see that, that's actually the way the character is going to save the game, and uh, there's no autosave, um, originally I wanted autosave, but then I realised, well, you know, I've, I've played a lot of games that don't use autosave, and it's, it's mildly frustrating, but at the same time challenging, you know, think of like Resident Evil, where you have to go to the typewriters to save, uh, you're always in a clinch. So yeah, here we have the computer. Um, and that's going to show us our current cases and some backstory. And, um, you know, non-important backstory, really, you know, when you think about it. But I think it just makes it kind of, it fleshes out the world a bit more, fleshes out the character. So yeah, you can definitely, there's a lot of, um, a lot of text to go through. Uh, to see that, uh, to see that backstory, the character of Jason. And here is the um, outside of Jason's office. Um, that man on the bench there. 
I'm going to animate that eventually to have him eating. Uh, there are a few things that I still need to change that I just haven't put my efforts into, like this elevator. Going to change that again. Um, but yeah, there's a. Uh, it's been a good month. I've been focusing a lot on the uh, core aspects, if you, if, you, if you will. And here's the um. Here's a scene later on in the game. Um, we were driving our car on the way to uh, interrogate a suspect, and there's a crash that blocks the road. So. You know, this this game is not only a mystery thriller, you know, detective type game, it's also going to be a puzzle game, and there is going to be combat, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that working, um, the combat isn't going to be heavy, the combat is going to be the, the back end of this game really, it's not going to be uh, the forefront of it, the forefront of this game is purely exploration, and a puzzle. Here we have a another uh, another scene in this game, which is where you're down in the sewers, and I spent a long time uh, trying to get these sewers the way I wanted. Um, I think the fog is still a bit too heavy, so I might dial that down a bit. But yeah, the um, uh, I think the the sewers the sewer section it's a it's a great section of this game. It's definitely one I need to to work on still. Like the the main character's flashlight doesn't quite fit in the right area of his hand, and I also need to work in a flashlight for another sprite for the for the uh, for the main character there. But yeah, all in all, I think it looks, I think it's it's shaping up to be quite a quite a good game here. And also, there's a um, the gas station in the main town. So the way the uh, the game works is linear plot with sections to break out into open world in order for the player to you know explore and find secrets and do side quests. Um, I I think this is majority a a uh, story driven game. However, there are a lot of secrets and side quests to do and fun little activities like I've made the uh, the arcades here inside of that gas station where it's got a full-fledged Pac-Man game running and I'm going to show you the the uh, full Pac-Man game here um, in just a second I will have to change the audio and the sprites it was mainly just to see if I can get it testing and working right and um, I think with the sounds and the sprites, it's it's perfect. It runs absolutely great. The only issue is it's going to be copyright issues, so I will have to change it for the um, the actual release of the game. But yeah, there's um lots to do in this game. It's uh, definitely taking a lot longer to finish than I originally planned. But hey ho, you know such is life. It's just me working on this game, so it's not going to be as as quick as I thought really. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update here, and uh, if you like what I'm doing, if you're interested about the game, let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, you know, let me know, give me some feedback. If you don't like it, what parts you don't like about it, tell me. Um, I'd be really interesting to, to know the general populace's opinion, because uh, at the end of the day, I might be making this game for what I think I like, or what you know, what I do like, and what I think other people would like. That's not necessarily what other people will like. So, let me know. Give me some feedback. Um, yeah, awesome. So yeah, that's about it, really. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.